again and welcome back to March Payne's Midlife Dolly Crisis. And today we're going to be unboxing a doll which I've had for a while. And I know most of the dolls I've had, I've had for a while. This one was actually part of the kind of surprise box of dolly goodies that I opened at the beginning of the year from Kim, formerly of Winsy's World. Um, so basically she sent me a big box of Dolly Delights, which I enjoyed opening. And at the bottom of the box was a doll which hadn't been unboxed. So it was actually this doll here. So this is a Creatable World doll. And I do have one. Um, I had one actually from the box which Kim had sent me. So I kind of know what the dolls are like, but I've never sort of unboxed one in its kind of original form. And also this one is going to have the wig and everything with it. So we get to see what that's like. And it's probably not going to be great. But um, but yeah, it'll be nice. It'd be nice to actually see the doll kind of in its box with all of the stuff that it comes with. The clothes, I think, on these are really nice. And they do fit a variety of dolls. But yeah, let's open this doll and see what we think of them. OK, so here is our box for our Creatable World doll. Um, obviously here we've got images of what the doll looks like in the various different sort of wigs and clothes and stuff like that. We have a list here of basically what you get in it. So you get one doll, you get one wig and then you get a jacket, two t-shirts, two trousers, a skirt, shoes, glasses, a hat and a bag. Um, I'm not sure what's on the back. So the back is basically just more sort of images there of, of the doll in various guises. This one is actually dated, dated 2018, so I guess they're not actually that that recent. Although obviously the last few years have been slightly weird. Um, so time has moved in a very different sort of way. But yeah, I, I suppose they aren't that recent, not really. So let's open the box. And I think you can basically just pull it out. So I'm going to undo, there's some tabs on the side here. I'm going to undo that. I think that they aren't too bad to get out. But I guess we will find out. So this should hopefully just pull. Or will it? Yeah, I think. Oh, is that? Okay. Things are a bit a bit more attached than we thought. Okay, there we go. So we can get rid of that part of the box. Then we've got this part here. And we've basically got this image here, which is a bit creased, but, but never mind. So this is kind of an image of the doll in lots of different different looks. Sort of variations on, on a theme really there. There you go, you can see the whole thing now. So, yeah, so these are all the kind of different looks you can make with it, sort of pairing different shoes and different kind of parts of outfits together, which is quite cute. So it's quite good to see the sort of variety that you can get from, from the set. So that is that. And, yeah, on the other side here, this here, which basically is the other dolls you can get from, from this collection. So the other doll I have is actually this one here. So let's see what we've got here. So obviously everything is there. I don't think things are tabbed in, but I guess we'll find out. This basically has got like a plastic cover to it, which we can remove. And then, yeah, the bits will literally just lift out. Now, this seems like a much better idea to me than some of the other ideas of let's get tags and tag everything in. I mean, you know how much I hate those tags. Um, whereas this, things are literally put in. It's got a cover over the top. They, they can't move around. I don't know why they don't do this more often. I mean, this is this is a Mattel product. I, I, I don't think I mentioned that. Yeah, it was Mattel who actually did the Creeper World Dolls. So obviously, you know, they are capable of doing packaging which doesn't involve all those annoying tags. Although, is the doll okay? Maybe the doll is tagged in. Actually, I don't think they are. I mean, obviously, this, this is plastic. So, you know, it's not great. But it is a big piece of plastic. So it might be easier to, 
to recycle, but I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm sure there are other ways around it. Look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this stuff out and then we'll have a look at the bits and see what we think. Okay, so here we go. So this is this is the doll out and this is all of the, um, the clothes and accessories and stuff. That was so easy. You could literally just pull them out and they weren't attached in any way. Even the doll literally just came out the box. I just kind of grabbed the foot and just pulled it out and it was fine. It's just, it's kind of, it's nice when it's so easy. So let's have a look at the doll first. So obviously this is the hair that they come with. Oh, can we see? Can we focus? There we go. So yes, yeah, so this one has very curly hair and then there is a wig which is kind of longer curlier hair but the hair's quite cute actually. I, it feels, I don't know if there's product in it, it could maybe do with maybe a wash. It feels almost a little bit greasy but I'm not sure if it is, I'm not sure if it's just how the hair feels. I'm also sure that you could actually probably style it in some sort of nice way. I mean, I'm already going to say this. I don't think the wig is going to be going on the head because I think wigs don't really work with these sort of dolls. Not when they've already got hair. I think if they were completely bald and you were like putting different wigs on them, then it would look better. But because they've already got something there, once you try and stop putting stuff on, it's just it just ends up looking really messy. So let's have a closer look at the doll's face. So there we go. So they've got green eyes. They've got kind of like thickish brows. The features are really nice. I, I guess they're meant to be sort of like children really, then or you know, young young teenagers or teenagers. They're not meant to be sort of adults, I don't think. Um the lips are a kind of a a sort of shiny, sort of slightly pink colour, but not as if not as if there's makeup involved or anything like that. So I guess they're meant to look like children. Then they're, they're not meant to look like a child trying to be an adult or anything like that. Articulation wise, they are really good. So there's lots of movement that we can get out of it. The head will obviously pivot from side to side. You can also go down, you can also go up. The arms, will go out, so they're kind of on a ball joint, but they will also go forward and they'll go back. They do feel a little bit stiff, but obviously they have been in a box for, for quite a number of years now. Lower arms will also bend here. We've got like a elbow, and that will also move around as well. We've also got wrists, which again, they will twist all the way around. Lower down the body, there's nothing on the waist or anything like that. So then we get to the hips. And they they are very, quite articulated in that you can kind of bend them so they can sit down properly. They have obviously articulation at the knee as well. And that will, I guess that bends round. It kind of does. You can kind of bend it around a bit. And I think you can even sort of move, move, move the hip around as, as well. And then we do also have articulation at the ankles as well. So, you know, posability wise, they are, they are very good. I mean, I don't know what kind of age group these dolls were sort of aimed at. I'm presuming they're perhaps for younger children. But, you know, if, if we could get posability like this, in dolls like this, why can't we get posability like this on fashionistas or, you know, other sort of Barbie dolls? It just seems a little bit sad that we don't have the same kind of quality as this with such a huge doll. I mean, Barbie is meant to be such a kind of iconic and the most famous doll in the world, but articulation wise, unless it's a made to move body, you don't really get articulation. You basically get kind of very stiff, stiff arms and stiff legs that don't really do anything. I think people would probably actually pay a bit more just to get articulation. So although fashionistas I know are very, very cheap, 
people might actually still buy them if they were a little bit more expensive and they had articulation which was better than you know certainly better better than it was in that it doesn't really have any unfortunately but anyway let's get let's go back to this doll here so they come in this sort of black two-piece so it's kind of like black shorts there and a black top um there's velcro on the back of the top there's no velcro on the shorts they should just kind of like pull on and off very easily these bits obviously you can also use with the other items so you can make even more outfits out of them i guess it's kind of meant to be underwear but yeah i mean this could easily just be a normal top these could easily be like a little pair of shorts or something this is the wig let's ha let's have a look at this so again, this feels a little bit, I don't know, a little bit greasy. I don't know if maybe that that's kind of how the hair stays nice. Um, if you have a closer look at it, you can see it's got this sort of weird band all the way around it, which is kind of annoying because you're going to see that when you put it on the head. But let's actually have a go and see if we can get it to look look decent. So here is the doll with with short hair and then we're going to put the wig on and show them with with long hair. Mm, okay, I have a feeling this isn't really how it's meant to be. Um, basically the wig is on but then the real hair is sticking out the bottom. I can't see how you're meant to somehow flatten this bit down and get this under here so that you can't see it. I don't know if you're meant to do that or, or not. There seems too much hair, almost. It's a shame that they didn't sort of make them sort of, I don't know, bald, or at least give them sort of flocking, so they had like skin heads, and then you could easily put something on top which wouldn't look sort of as ridiculous as, 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 as they end up looking. So I think, probably, as, as, I, as I thought originally, I'm just going to keep the hair as is. Um, I, I kind of like it this shorter length anyway. There's actually a lot of different colours in it. I, sh I should have mentioned that. So it's, it is kind of like a brown, a sort of a mousy brown um, because there's sort of a bit of blonde in there as well and sort of lighter brownish colours. So that's, that's quite cute and I kind of like it looking a bit, a bit messy but obviously not as messy as, as that would look when it's kind of attached to the head. So let's let's say goodbye to the wig, because uh, I don't think we're going to be using that. And let's have a look at some of these bits that we get with the doll. So actually, let's put the doll to one side, and then we can have a look at, at the clothes. So obviously, the idea for these dolls is meant to be that they can be a boy doll or they can be a girl doll. Um, it seems... It seems like a good idea. I, I like the idea of it. It still seems very old fashioned, this idea that, oh, if it's got long hair, it's a girl. If it's got short hair, it's a boy. It's a shame we haven't really got beyond that. So in that respect, I kind of find it a little bit annoying. C clothes wise, I think there's a lot of good pieces here. And obviously it's kind of acceptable that girl, girls can wear trousers, girls can wear dungarees. It's not quite the same way that boys can wear skirts. So obviously, you know, the skirt is only going to be used if the doll presumably is a girl. The other items are pretty much sort of unisex, apart from possibly this pair of shoes, which do look quite feminine. But then again, I mean, Boys can wear whatever they want. Um, people can wear whatever they want, to be honest. There are some really nice pieces here, for sure. So the dungarees particularly are really nicely done. So they're obviously white, and then they've got this sort of paint splattered effect on them. I think that's really cute. The actual pocket on the front here of the dungarees, that is a workable pocket. There's no, oh yeah, there is fastening. So there's a bit of Velcro on the back there. So the doll will be able to sort of go, go into it and that will, they will go over the shoulders. So that is quite a cute, a cute outfit there. 
actually it's own it would look nice obviously you could use it with with the black top underneath as well if you wanted to but then you do have other options with the other things that you have here or you know they could actually wear it with nothing underneath it just just that bit there's also pockets here on both sides which are again workable there is this kind of stitching detail around the waist and around kind of like the fastening area and yeah there are no sort of like raw edges everything is hemmed very nicely and there's these stud details here at the top as well which kind of look like the the kind of fastenings for the for the straps so that's kind of the dungarees there we then have this amazing top which is obviously silver and glittery and quite fabulous it's almost got a sort of like sport vibe to it i think because of these sort of lines on the arm like it's meant to be like a sports top but it could literally be anything and again that has got velcro and that is the velcro all the way down the back there we've then got a pair of silver boots which obviously would go quite well with that top so they um, they have moulded detail on them. They've got laces and they've kind of got sort of stitching details. They've got slits down the back to try and get to get them onto the onto the foot. And we have got black soles here, which have been sort of painted. So that's that's quite nice that it's got it's got at least a bit of paint details on, and is literally just here's a piece of here's a piece of plastic. So that's that. We go on to another pair of shoes. We have a pair of pink vans by the looks of it. So they again have some molded detail on them. They do have white soles which have been painted. Obviously, obviously that's quite good as well. The base of them looks like that. They almost look like, like a real pair. <laughs> again, we've got like slight sort of slits down the back so they will fit onto the foot. So that is that. We've then got the, the sort of the turquoise pair of shoes. So these, as I say, seem a bit more feminine, I suppose, in that they look like sort of a pair of girls' pumps. Again, they've got the slit down the back. Molded detail-wise, there's not really much to them. They do have sort of pointed toes. Heel-wise, there's no painted details. They're just kind of like molded on, but there's like a little heel there. We have a pair of aviator glasses and I think they are see-through. Yeah, they're kind of see-through. I don't know if you can see the eyes. I, I can see the eyes through them, but they aren't they aren't the clearest, but I guess they are meant to be sunglasses. So they they do kind of work. So that is those. So we've also got um what should we look at next? The t-shirt. So this has got a a tiger motif on the front. Again we have Velcro down the back. I love this green colour. It's, you know, sort of like an acid green. There's a bit of a thread there. And then the, the tiger image is quite sort of stylized, And that's kind of made up of different sort of greens and blues. But a lot of this thing, a lot of these sort of colours and things will match other things that we've got. So that is the t-shirt. We've then got a pair of, I guess, kind of three quarter lengths. Or sort of yoga pants almost I think I've actually got this pair <laughs> not not in real not not in my size but um, I think it was actually part of the box of Dolly Delights which Kim formerly of Lindsay's World had had sent me so I think I've actually got another pair but yeah there's kind of like a ruching detail on the the bottom of them here so, so they don't sort of fall straight down. They kind of have a sort of, they sort of hang a bit, which is quite nice. They're kind of loose fitting as well. So that is those. And that's kind of like, kind of like a bluey colour. We've then got a skirt. Again, with all of these clothes, I should say they, they're all kind of hemmed. There's no raw edges or anything like that. There's also no sort of like, drawn on details that's not a drawn on pocket or a drawn on button or, or anything all the kind of fastenings and stuff that you see are are real so here is the skirt it's got this sort of ruffle here and all the way around the hem as well there is velcro on the back so it's got a bit of velcro there to get that off and on the doll 
it's obviously got a lots of different colours in. It's uh, kind of like a terracotta orange and turquoise and black and white. It's actually quite a nice shape. I imagine this is probably going to look nice in a Barbie as well. So that is that. We have got this. Now this hoodie I am quite surprised with because it actually has a working zip. So that's that's pretty amazing, isn't it? It's got a working zip. Also, the hood is so big that it would actually fit over the doll's head. Now, I think it would fit over the doll's head with the hair that they have here. But if you put the wig on them, I don't think you'd be able to get the hood over that. But it's kind of nice that you can actually do that with the hood. Because a lot of the times, they're kind of just sort of like pretend hoods. Or they have that thing where they've got the hole at the back so you can stick the hair through, which I always think looks really weird. But yeah, so it's kind of all one colour. There's some nice details on it. We have got like a waist kind of band there. We've also got bands around the armholes there. And as I said, we have this working zip, which is quite amazing. I don't actually want to undo this just in case I can't get it back on again. But it's nice that we've got the whole kind of zip detail on it, I think. So that is that. We've then got a hat. So this is sort of a turquoise colour and it's kind of, it's got a ribbing sort of detail all over it. It kind of reminds me of Cool Love's hat, but this seems to be done a little bit nicer, I think. I mean, this this will fit, I'm presuming, on, on the doll's head. I don't know if it would fit on the wig, but yeah, you can kind of fit it on there. Obviously that's me roughly putting it on, but that's quite cute. So that is that is that. And again, we've got this kind of brim or, you know, kind of a fold up detail all the way around it. And it does seem to have a shape. It's not just sort of like a shapeless hat. It does actually have some sort of shape to it. So that is that. And then we have this, which is a really cute little sort of tote bag. Obviously lots of different colours and obviously you can open it because it is a tote bag and put whatever you want in there. It will also obviously go over the doll's shoulder like that. So that's quite it's quite a nice, it's quite a simple bag, but it's quite nice that, you know, you can open it, you can put stuff in. I'd rather have something like this than here's a lump of plastic that you can't do anything with but you can literally sort of put it in the hand and that's it. I'd rather have something you could use. It's a shame we don't get more sort of fabric bags like this, I think. So I'm gonna put some of these clothes on the doll and we'll see what we think. Okay, so these are my two Critical World dolls. I've put um, I've put the, 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 the new one in a lot of different things here. So I've got the pink vans on, on the feet and then I've got the sort of the yoga pants. I've got the t-shirt on there. I've got the hoodie on, which with the workable zip. I've got the tote bag and then I've put the hat on there as well. So there's lots of lots of stuff going on there. And then with, with this one here, I already had these, which were, I believe from another one of the Crapal World packs, uh, probably the one that this doll came from. So I kept those on. I've given them these sort of silver boots here and obviously with the silver boots we've got the nice silver top so the, the sleeves on the, on the silver top are kind of three quarter length rather than being all the way down I've also given them the shades I'm not really sure I like the shades that much but but there you go so that is that is them I think what I like about these dolls is the fact that you get you basically get a capsule wardrobe for them and you can sort of swap things around and, you know, add bits and, and change bits. It's kind of a, a nice way of getting children interested in, in clothes, really, and in finding their own style. It's also nice having dolls which don't necessarily conform in that, in that boys don't necessarily have to wear boys' clothes and girls don't necessarily have to wear girls' clothes or, you know, whatever. Um, it just seems quite an interesting take on it all. But yeah, so what do you think of these dolls? Um, I really like them. I love the whole idea that you get so many different clothes and so many different combinations that you can do with them. The wigs, 
I don't like. I, I think I'd just prefer, you know, if they hadn't had the wigs at all and you could literally still dress them however you wanted to dress them without sort of putting a long wig on them and suddenly, oh, I'm going to put a dress on the doll. It just seems a bit, a bit old fashioned, I guess. So yeah, what do you think of them? Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if you've, if you've got any. I know, um, I know Tammy Powley over at Peacecraft Dolls has got quite a few. I don't know if she's got this one. I know she has unboxed quite a few recently. So um, you should probably go and check out her channel if you're interested in in these Creative World dolls. So if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like it. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And please share the video because that really helps the channel. And I will see you in the next video. So until the next time, bye.